Okay, we're gonna do a MacBook Pro battery replacement on this A1425 MacBook Pro. We've got a kit, comes with some special screwdrivers, and we've got a replacement battery here in a tray. First thing is to remove the back case. Check out our screwdrivers. One of them is this pentalobe, which matches these. The ones closest to the hinge are different, so keep track of which screw is which length. So now that's free. I'm just gonna pry up a little bit. Boom. So this is the SSD disk drive. These, all of this is the battery, which we're gonna be replacing. Step one is removing this SSD. There's a connector right here after which the entire SSD comes out. This cover for the battery. And now this is the battery connector board itself. And I am keeping track of which battery is which by using a piece of paper here. And just drawing areas on my piece of paper and being sure to map exactly which battery came from where. Sorry, exactly which screw came from where. All right, this little cover comes up and reveals one last screw here. There's adhesive in the head of the screw, which is a little annoying. And you just gotta push through it. And then it comes free. Just pull back on this battery connector. And now the battery is disconnected from the board. Cool. I'm gonna temporarily stick a pencil in here to keep it separated. Next thing is to do removal of these speakers here. And that will let us start to access the batteries underneath. So I'm gonna take the pencil temporarily and draw out some areas on my piece of paper for the speakers. They have three screws each. Number two is covered by this. There's a little piece of a screen mesh in there. So there's conductive through the, through the screw and to the other side of the case for electromagnetic interference purposes. It's, uh, you wanna create this shielded case. All right, so this speaker is now loose after those three screws are out. So I should be able to just get in there. And yeah, speaker is out. And this exposes these battery packs. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. They use adhesive to hold these down. Um, and for these packs, they use screws. So there's screws here. So I'm gonna take out these six screws, three here, three here. Okay, so now these packs are no longer screwed down. And so I can just wiggle and actually it starts to come up just fine, no problem. Cool. So before we go further, we still have to get these packs out and these are adhesively attached. What I'm gonna do is try a couple of techniques because I don't really wanna bend or puncture the batteries. I have some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm just gonna be very careful by pouring. So just a couple milliliters. And I'm gonna lift the whole laptop just so it 
gravity flows underneath the battery. So I can see from where I am that it's now kind of underneath the whole, the whole battery area on this side. I'm going to do the same on this side. So I got some really much thinner dental floss. Take some out. So I'm just going to try to get underneath the battery, this little cell here. And see, just like flossing, see if I can clear the space between the battery pack and the frame. It does look like I'm making progress and I'm seeing kind of some, some adhesive residue on the floss. So I think that's a good indication. I'm trying to be careful to keep most of my force horizontal, kind of, instead of pulling up on the battery. All right, I was able to slide the floss around between these two cells. It's hard to tell if we're making a lot of progress, but we're up to here on the battery, which is kind of cool. This is a good, strong floss. Oh, yeah, okay. First cell is free. So you can see that it's completely detached from the board and there's some adhesive stuff underneath it. So I just need to go repeat that for all four cells. All right, I'm gonna try adding some more alcohol to this one. I'm going to see if I can get the floss around this corner, just using the screwdriver to guide the floss, but not to actually, I don't want to actually puncture the battery or anything. I'm just trying to get the floss underneath that side. There we go. Oh, this is just working really well. Cool. All right. So now that pack is free. I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the laptop. Okay, this one seems to have had more time for the alcohol to work and dissolve the adhesive a little bit, so it's coming really easily. So the hardest thing is really just getting it around the corners of the battery and there's not a lot of room to navigate in here. Okay, that worked. A little more violent than it needed to be, but we got it. This whole module comes right out. Make sure this, this speaker cable is stuck to it. So move that out of the way, but then bam. Old battery has been removed. This is the old battery pack. And I'm just gonna put it to the side and deal with it, recycling it later. Okay. So we're back and now it's cleaning time. So I want to get all of this adhesive stuff off so that new batteries adhere properly and then just do some general cleaning of the rest of the laptop. So I got a couple of tools to try. Uh, just an ordinary razor blade and a little flathead screwdriver can also sometimes be useful. So I just want to see how easily this is coming off. It looks like reasonably easily. I think the razor blade is going to make it really simple. Clean off the razor blade. Because it's getting a little gummy from the adhesive. Now again, it's nice. These these trays have kind of been designed for this. There's a in the MacBook unibody aluminum case, there is like a well in each of these, so it will hold the liquid.
So I'm just looking and I see these side channels for air to flow. And I see that I got some of the adhesive stuff pushed up in there. So I'm just cleaning it out with a Q-tip. This little flathead screwdriver is kind of perfect. I just clear these slots out of any junk that's in there. All right, so now I'm going to just do some general cleaning of the rest of the laptop. Here's the actual little speaker element right here, this little round thing. And just lots of dust near the air channel. Okay, so right over here, whatever this is, this is, I believe, a Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. It says model BCM something, so that's probably a Broadcom Wi-Fi module. Attracted a lot of dust for some reason. It could just be its placement. It's right near this SD card slot, which probably lets a decent amount of airflow through. And also next to a fan, which probably pulls air through it, um, just to guess. And then here's a bunch of, these three connectors are, are most likely antenna. Find a little can of compressed air I had from a long time ago. Okay, that's actually working really well. It's time to get a, a new battery in here. That's kind of exciting. So I'm gonna take a look at the kit that I bought and here we go. This is a fresh battery. So this blue thing includes is protecting these adhesives. So I, these are now sticky. So I have to be pretty darn careful about placing things correctly. Because as soon as I place it down, it's gonna stick. So we're gonna have a fun day if we don't get it in the right place. Fortunately, there's not too much wiggle room here. So I'm gonna use two screwdrivers to just prop these up and keep them from sticking right now while I get everything else in just the right place. Really these speaker cables need to go around the battery so that the battery can sit firmly where it should. And then left-right positioning is dictated by these screws. And then this cable also needs to be beyond this little thing. So there's a couple things to get right all at the same time, and it's being a little tricky right now. Okay. So I can see it has to go that way. That's actually pretty good right there. Looks looks pretty good. I gotta get the speaker cable routed. But yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put in these six screws so that the battery is kind of locked into where it should be, and then I can continue with the rest of the assembly. And now what I'll do is check out the battery connector. It seems like we should give that a shot. So there's a pin on the board here in this corner. There's a hole right here, and that has to line up. So I'm just going to get that set. A 
once that pin is in, a lot of the rest of it just kind of lines up. It is requiring a little bit to get it in the right spot, but it's, it's, it's there now. Install this little plastic cover over this thing. Cool, so battery's connected and installed. Now I just need to remove these screwdrivers and get these other packs in position, in their final position, where they will be glued down. Uh. Screwdriver is a bit adhesive to the battery right now. Okay, fortunately not too much. And now I'm going to remove this back film, which is just a helpful film to keep everything positioned. Oops. What I want to do is make sure that the speaker's still clear, but they do. I can just push down a little bit on these battery packs to get the adhesive against the case so they don't rattle around. Reinstall the SSD. Boom, just snaps into place. And now speakers. Now I've got to reassemble the exterior case. So I'm going to grab that. It's actually pretty uh, dirty looking still, so I'm going to give it a quick spray, but I'm going to be careful not to blow away my screws. Um, so I'm going to do it over here, out of the camera frame. Okay, cool. So now this goes back into position. Okay, whole process is complete. It's moment of truth time. I'm gonna take out, I kept a piece of paper in here just to protect the screen and everything. Um, let's hit the power button, see what happens. It's a good sound. Cool. Yeah, my login screen came up. Um, shows I have 49% battery charge. And that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and charge and discharge and, and make sure everything's working fine. But... Okay, so it booted up just fine. And the coconut battery program shows you know load cycles as one on the battery. This is a huge improvement from uh, the literally seven and a half year old battery that was in this computer. With about an hour or so of work, including uh, filming everything, probably bought myself another year or two, and that's another year or two to kind of be, you know, be an Apple shareholder instead of being an Apple customer, which I'm sure I will again someday, but you can do these simple repairs on things like your laptops or your phones and really extend the life of your devices create a lot less waste. Battery repair wasn't too intimidating. If you're decent with uh, your hands and some basic tools, these kinds of repairs are not all that complicated or scary. I did, of course, have a time machine backup on an external hard drive before I started any of this, just in case. All right, thanks for watching.